All right, it's Lily. Good afternoon. Uh, today, I'm going to give you the best five tips for advanced acrylic pours. And I'm gonna do that during the video, and um, we're gonna to try to create a painting with those five tips. So here we go, we're going to use a white, a purple that I mixed with phthalo blue and red rose. So I put a lot of red rose and just a little bit of phthalo blue because I wanted a really dark color that was transparent. This I just mixed a dab of phthalo blue with a lot of white and this is phthalo blue. So we have sort of a color family going because there's some of someone in the other ones. They're all married. <laughs> okay, so I haven't put my silicone in yet. Uh, this is the CRC silicone, heavy duty silicone as uh, CRC and I get mine at Walmart. I can't seem to find it anymore, anywhere else. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in a couple of the colors and I hope to get big cells because I think the big, whiter, you know, light white cells are kind of a place for the eyes to, eye to rest, along with, whoop, well, okay, the, um, some whiter, dark areas. Okay, so those are good. I'm gonna stir them in quite a bit. Uh, let's see if I might wanna, I don't think I put any in that one, okay. So I'm going to stir them all in quite a bit because it's going to take me a while to get them in the pour. So the number five tip would be leave space, leave a place in your paintings for the viewer's eye to rest. Okay, here we go. I'm going to fill these two cups and see what we come up with. So these are going to be flip cups, so I am going to start with an opaque on the bottom. I hope I can fit them all in here. If not, I'll use three cups. I'm trying to get them kind of equal. Okay, let's stir this one again. I have a lot of purple and I don't want this to be a dark painting. I don't see any cells yet popping through. Oh, let's pour a little white. I mean, light blue. Maybe I should be a little more generous with the silicone, so that looks a little thick. I'm going to use some of my pH balanced water where I add a little bit of baking soda to it to bring it up to a pH balance of nine. Well, tip number four is with color, less is more. The reason for that is you don't have a busy painting. Because if you have a, a painting where it's busy everywhere, the viewer just takes a glance at it and leaves. That's tip number four. Okay, so I'm gonna put a more blue in the paint here, in the paint here. A little more purple. Okay, and since I have my white already mixed, it's over here. Put a little more in this one, a little bit more over here. Okay, so I'm going to do a wham. You know me and my whams. And Okay, so I'm going to stir one of these because I think I might want them to be one to be a little bit different. I don't usually do that. So here we go. I think I will do them like this and like this. I like the flip cup when I'm doing some negative space. So 
that's why I did that. Let's see if I can, I think I'm, I don't know, gray. I'm gonna use gray. Okay, so if someone suggested that I think, plan out the whole thing and I think the whole thing so you guys don't have to watch me think. I hope I have enough gray in there. And um, thinking is, is part of it in my, my world. So, I shouldn't have put that there. Well, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Shouldn't have done that either. Okay, so I'm gonna torch first and then tilt. That's the old fashioned way. Pour, torch, tilt. Wow, we've got some big, beautiful cells. Now, let's see where we're gonna go with this. Okay, so if I tip that way, I'm gonna lose that, so I'm gonna tip. Oh God, I just had to tip this way. So let's see if we can get color harmony, if we can get some place for the viewer's eye to rest. And top tip number three is, um, large canvases need more white space. Yeah, I would say that. Large canvases need a lot of a lot more white space or dark space. So tip number four is use a lot of white or dark in like I'm doing here, light or dark, especially on large canvases. And I think I might do this. Okay, here we go. I'm think thought about this and I think it needs this. So my fifth, I mean, so my number one tip is learn the golden ratio. Look it up, study it. It's also called the rule of thirds. And it's good for your photography that you do with your iPhone or your, you know. So th those are my tips, my five best tips. Let's go through them again. The number one tip is learn the golden ratio. Number two, use a lot of white or dark in your paintings, um, especially on large canvases. Uh, you, you need more white space on large canvases. With color, less is more. A lot of, if you use a lot of colors, your paintings get too busy and there's no place for the eye to rest. And Composition is the you know best thing you should know about is composition. That's that's tip five. Uh, leave a place for the viewer's eye to rest. So design, composition, the rule of thirds. You need to know those things. Once you know, once you have pouring down, you know how to get your cells, you know, and your stacking up all these paintings in your house, you're gonna have keepers once you start um, getting past I'm okay with this. So once you start getting, you know, all your pores you're going to have to make beautiful compositions because you're not going to stand out from the rest if you do an art fair and everybody's got poured paintings of all crazy colors and you, you know you have to relate to someone and people buy you know i know it's not you don't feel good about it 
But people buy to match their living room. Let's face it. They're not going to buy 80 million colors that are just, you know. They buy composition. We buy what's pleasing. Okay. I, have, I hope I have this all in. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, I wasn't going to paint today. I was going to just go through all my comments and, by the way, my pouring medium for all this time was in the description wrong. What I had to do was, because I wanted my pouring medium in all my videos after I had already created 70 videos, I went in and I made you know, I did it in notes and then I copy and pasted it into all of my videos and I had the pouring medium recipe backwards. So I had one part pouring medium to three parts paint. Don't listen to that. I went, to, you know, so anyways, I was going to do all that. I did do it. I cre fixed it and it's all better now. But Anne Marie Ritteroff's, her video this morning she did an absolutely awesome canvas. You guys cannot believe it. it it's a must-see. Um, I think it's the, it's the second to last video because she put up one after it. I think it was the best painting, poured painting, on YouTube. Period. It, it just, it made me get off the couch and start pouring paintings. So here you go. I guess I'm going to turn it um, this way to show you. And okay, so let's bring this. Okay, did we accomplish the five uh, best tips for advanced pouring? Do we have a good composition? Yes, we do. We've used the rule of thirds or the golden ratio. The golden ratio goes in a spiral like a sunflower or an acorn. It's found in all of nature. Uh, I'm pretty sure that God developed it. Okay? So that that's where you find the golden ratio. It's called the Fibonacci and the rule of thirds. When you make three lines each way, you'll find dots at those points where the three lines are there is dots and those are good places to put your subject or the eye of a portrait the eyes might land on on that that those lines or the horizon you wouldn't want to take a picture with the horizon dead center you either want more foreground or more background you know foreground less foreground more background more foreground, less background. It's more pleasing to the eye. And we have a place for the eyes to rest. It's interesting. It's not too busy. Uh, we have just a few colors and they're in the same family. And also, see if I can get a stick, I can reuse this leftover paint because they're all in the same family. So what I did was, I know there's a load of silicone in here, but I can use a bit of it. So I scraped up all the silicone on my plastic here. I mean, all the paint on my plastic here. And I poured it into this, like a cup like this, and I separated it off and I stirred it up. And now we don't have mud because we didn't use opposing colors on the color wheel. So here, let me show you. We have a pretty nice periwinkle color when we blend these together. So these are not wasted paints because they're a little bit in each cup. You know, we put I put them all together and I've rescued some paint. Now I, you know, like I said, you know, I would mark the lid uh, Premier Paint with, um, you know, I put, there was silicone in there. I put, you know, P, M for pouring medium and whatnot. So I do think this was a successful painting. I don't mind these little, little, you know, spots of color. They, they pique a little bit of interest. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will get you down and have you look at it that way. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I figured out if I shoot this a little bit from the side, it might have less glare. 
Um, I thank you guys for watching. You're just wonderful. Please leave me some con uh, comments. Thank you for the people who are supporting my channel. The um, link is in the description to do so. I'll put you guys right in right here. Zoom. And also, my DIY pouring medium has been corrected. And it's also in the description under the video when it's small. And... Please share my videos and subscribe and, and be kind to every kind.